Hey, this is Chris Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. I'm with Nate and part of product development and marketing here at Sasco. We've got a product here in front of us, Lexel. If you're a remodeler, one of the products that you really should have in your trailer if you're a painter, another one of those products that's gonna solve a lot of problems that you probably can have. But we've got some samples in front of us, uh, in front of us that I'm gonna stretch, mess around with. But you know, the question is, you know, this stuff is like you know, pretty stretchy. Mm -hmm. You know, how much elongation or elasticity do you really need in, you know, a caulking? I mean, the houses, do they really move that much? Yep. I mean, you know, come on, does the bathtub really move that much? So let's hear it, Nate. You see companies advertise, you know, 250% stretch <laughs> and, and Lexel, you know, we say 700% stretch, yeah. right? The answer to how much you need is it depends on the size of the joint. Right? So I'm gonna give you a scenario, okay? Let's take a 12 foot piece of vinyl siding, okay? You can look this up, you can Google it. In the course of a day, that can move up to half an inch, okay? okay. So let's say your joint that you left for the caulking in your butt joint is a quarter inch. Quarter inch. You're asking it to effectively double. Right, because it's got to go from a quarter, right. it's got to move to a half. So what if you left an eighth of an inch instead of a quarter inch? Now you need it to move 400%, right? Right. Now, that's just one time, right? When we're talking about 700% stretch, we're saying you can move this to seven times its initial length once, and that's right. when it's gonna break. But you're asking a sealant to do that every single day thousands of times thousands and thousands yeah. and thousands of times so a little wiggle room is not a bad thing right. right yeah you know we can keep this going further right so what happens if you have a joint you, you make it really tight and you only have a 30 second of an inch right. gap for your butt joint well i'm going to tell you that you can't actually get any sealant in a 30 second of an inch right like right. imagine trying to get sealant yeah. in there but also, Try that. You'd, you'd be asking it to, to stretch 1,600% of its initial length, right. right? Nothing can do that. You want to basically design the joint with that in mind. So the bigger the joint, the cheaper caulking you can get away with using. Right. Right? It always pays to plan for that right. and to use a high-performance product such that it's gonna it's gonna forgive what right. what the joint size that you have and you're not gonna get cracking I think that that's uh, pretty interesting what you brought up because I, I noticed you know over my years of um, sealing homes with sealants and caulking that you know when I go back if I've used an inexpensive sealant or an inferior sealant or caulking it's usually the smaller the tiny cracks that are cracked bingo. and not the bigger ones bingo if you've got a two inch gap you can use the cheapest cock out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So we, we have, um, so this is a sample of, of Lexel mm -hmm. right here. And what, what's Lexel made for? Well, Lexel is kind of our use anywhere product. So it's super clear. It sticks to pretty much everything. And folks use it for sealing everything from kitchen and bath applications because of the clarity, right? Right, right on glass to windows to sill plates uh it's popular on roofing even though we have roofing products we we even see folks like fill holes in their kayaks with it wow. they, they, they use it to build turkey right. decoys and i i fixed some snow boots with it one time that i was going snowboarding with right wow um, so we have another sample right here this is what a major um, manufacturer of um, caulking and sealants. This is one of their top end sealants right here. It's a silicone. So, and so it actually snapped and I didn't even stretch it very hard. So the maximum amount that you can stretch this is, is its elongation. Okay. okay. So I can stretch this about, about twice its initial length. But see how it's pulling back on me, right? Uh -huh. You stretch the Lex L, see how relaxed that is? Totally relaxed. That has very low tensile strength, meaning right. it's not pulling back on you. Right. This one's pulling back on me. So right. eventually, I'm gonna get that snap that right. you have, right? There it yeah. goes. We're simulating thousands of right. temperature fluctuations, right? right? That siding is moving, yeah. 
and that joint is experiencing that stress right. and eventually you get that snap. So it's interesting because I, I mean, we have a big array of sealants behind us caulking, including um, a product I've uh, used, Big Stretch. I believe you've mentioned, you know, there is a, a big variety of caulking out there. And then there's companies that manufacture the affordable you know, version and then the expensive version. So you have this wide um, choice. You guys only make a lifetime warranty product all across the board. Is that true? You only make the best there is? Yeah, so we try to make it easy for folks because, you know, before I worked for Sashko, I would walk into the caulking aisle and it was hard for me to figure out what the best product for my job was, right? right. And so we only make one product for every application and it's what we think of is the best product that we can right. come up with, right? So if you're doing a roof, you use through the roof. Right? right. If you're doing a window, you use big stretch and, and there's no options. There's no right. good, better, best. Right. It's just the best. Yeah. I like, I totally like the simplicity and I know my uh, repaint business, you know, um, early on I gravitated towards wanting to sell my customers the fact that I was using lifetime warranty paints, lifetime warranty sealants. I only use the best and I try to just give uh, an amazing customer experience with an amazing paint job and um, your guys' sealants fit right into, you know, what I was trying to offer, you know, my clients. So we I mean, really appreciate you talking us through this and kind of explaining some of this if anybody watching if you got any questions you have about sealants um caulking um for the roof for concrete um you guys got all kinds of stuff you know available leave it in the comment section below i know nate would love to answer your questions you're kind of a geek about oh, these products a little now. bit <laughs> so <laughs> i've learned like so much from you i really appreciate it so um there you go. Leave it in the comment section below. We're out of here. We'll see you next time right here on Paint Life TV.